Hi, and welcome to Ember in Action series, episode 8, Delete Books. In this episode, we finish with CRUD functionality for books, and after that, things will become more interesting. Also, in this episode, we'll see an example of bubbling actions from child route to the parent route. So we'll have another button here, Delete Book, and when we click on it, we'll have another action that will delete this book, right? So let's go back to Book Details, and in here, we'll have simple anchor tag with delete book. Let's define class for it as button, button danger. And we define action, we call it delete book. So now when we click on this link, the event will be triggered on the component. And this component will send it to controllers and routes in the bubble chain. So we need to define this book details component. So in app components, we define book details.js file. And here we define component. So in this component only will have actions. And one of the action will be delete book. And then it will send action, action, and provide this get book object for deletion. So as we did previously, now we need to specify this action. And we use book details in book HBS. So we go to book HBS, here it is, book details, and we add here action, which is delete book. So now we need to define this delete book. So where do we want to define it? So book details is used in book route. So we can just go to route book and define this action right here. So we'll have actions, delete book, there's going to be a function which takes book and inside of the section again we'll have this and then we'll make book destroy record then we'll have our promise function and we want to make this transition to route simple books so now if you go back to browser on the book page we have this delete book so let's delete this one, and it deletes. Of course, we haven't done anything on our fake server, so when I reload, it will be there. So we need to fix this. So let's go back to Mox Books. So now we need to find the book with specified ID in our array and delete it from there. So again, quick and dirty, right? So what we need to have here is the book ID that's going to be request param id and after that we'll have for loop like this and inside of it we check that parse int the book id equals to books with index i dot id if this is true then we want to splice the books so we'll do books splice i1 and then we want to break from this loop. So let's go back to browser. Now if we go to this book and delete it, and then reload the page, it works. So the last thing I wanted to talk about is where to put your actions. So right now we have three actions. Create book, which is in new route. Update book, which is in edit route and delete book which is in book route. So that's pretty good, it's pretty viable. Another option is to place all of these actions into parent books route. So if we go to router we can see that we have the parent route books and inside of this book, new and edit. So all of the actions that are not found in these routes will be searched for in parent route. So let's have this experiment. Let's open books route and here let's define this actions and we cut these actions to books. Update book and the last one is create book. So now all actions on the books are stored in one place 
in books route. Let's see if it works. So I still see the list of books, I still see the book details, I still I think I can edit them. Let's update book. If I reload it, it's still there. So if I delete the book, it still works. And if I try to create the book, new book, cool. It is created. So this is one of the options. But where to store your actions is actually your choice, where it makes more sense for your project. So and that's it. We can create, read, update and delete books. If you like this episode, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video and share it with your friends, or follow me on Twitter. If you want to ask any question or simply say hello, go to my blog ramzalatik.net. Thank you very much for your time and have a great day.